Apparently, either Explorer or the bar staff secretly rotate drinks. This is, well, I'm gonna call this a, what did I call it? <laughs> I forgot what I called it already. Uh, it's gin, oh, Amandus Ginicus. <laughs> there you go. It's a gin with an almond liqueur and a, a drop or two of, of uh, it was lime juice. Hmm. Very good day drink, very good pool drink. Unfortunately, now I have to go find a pool because I was on my way to Helios Pool, but it is closed for maintenance. Yeah, you guys need need to publish the maintenance schedule. <laughs> you know, I already booked the fast pass and everything. Oh well, it is windy up here at the Atoll Pool. Helios is closed. That's where I was going. That's the question that lost us in trivia. Oh, I'm so upset. Which means it just wasn't meant to be. Hey, you never know. All right, so will I have my towel spread out there, laid out, ready to go? You don't have to go get them. Like Disney, actually. And, uh, oh, something curious, though, I'm going to show you. I don't know if this was, this was intentional or if there's more superstition behind it. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, well, let's just, um, okay, you know what? I'm going to do what a lot of people do. Well, for me, it would be doom scroll. Other people read, but hey, we're, you know, <laughs> terminally part of the fray. Then, I'm gonna get in the water. I know, I know. For the first time in forever, I will be going in the cruise ship pool. I guess, best I, best I could come up with. Unfortunately, I did not bring the right you with me, so we'll have to do all that tomorrow. All right, I had to bring you at least once today for proof of pool. Because I know most of you wouldn't have believed me if I told you I went into the cruise ship pool. So here I here I am in the beautiful this is the actual pool aboard Explorer One. And yes, she is oh boy, she is rocking today. Oh, I think I'm going to sleep like a well-fed infant tonight. Ay ay ay. <laughs> and and the pool is warm. Okay, no, it's not warm. It's a very, very comfortable temperature. In fact, it is suspiciously comfortable. Like they planned this. Okay, and I, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. By the way, if you knew what happened already, you know. But it's it, it, tremendous risk I'm taking showing you this beautiful pool. So, uh, all right, but tomorrow, yes, we are going to experience all the other pools. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait. This be fun. Wow, this is like this is like Volcano Bay. Oh my god. All right, this makes up for the water slides on that kind of the seas. Fun fact, it is a salt water pool. Brings back memories of SS Norway. Yes, I am that old. Yes, and I have been doing this for that long. Oh boy. It's fine. It just feels you know, I don't know if it's because I'm used to it or because I live in Miami, but the salt water, I don't like it. I do not like being wet with salt water. I do not like drying salt water on me. I am, oh my God, I am so uncomfortable right now. It is breezy, but the top open, top open, the top is open, or shall we say Explorer 1 is going topless this evening, something you don't find on a lot of cruise ships, which means I'm gonna go topless in the pool. Well, you already saw me topless in the pool, so that's not really a big thing. Oh boy, it is windy here in the conservatory. I'm surprised the, I'm surprised she's still topless. Come on, guys. All right, well, spent some quality time in the pool with some new cruise fans, although I am, I, I'm hungry, so I gotta go get cleaned up because this is not appropriate for the restaurant. I get it. And uh, yes, I'm hungry, so it's time to eat. Well, fun fact, the cruise pools are kind of fun. Especially if, well, especially if you're with your people here on Explore Journeys. <laughs> yeah, but they're fun, okay. So I'm late for dinner because I uh, met some fellow cruisers in the pool and uh, just uh, conversating for a while. All right, I'm just gonna get turned around and head to Sakura tonight where I will beg and plead my case for a later than expected seating. So, oh, okay, well, I have to, um, yeah, uh, did deal with. Uh, I know, I know, problems. Alrighty then, I am dressed and ready to go. This is tonight's costume for Sh Sh Shakira? 
No. Shakira. Sure. No. Sakura. There you go. Uh, what do you think? So, I, well, I have another, I had another costume in mind, but, wait, oh, I'm sorry. The phone. Whatever. This is what I'm wearing. I don't know why that matters. Let's go. I'm hungry. And I'm late. So I have to maybe beg and look all, look all sad and, <laughs> please let me in. Mm. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Elevator button is pressed. I am on my way to deck five for Sakura. Yes, that is what it's called. And I just want to let you all know that, again, I am alone in the elevator. Let's push deck five and then actually go there. <laughs> This is the Japanese whiskey that is included here on Explorer Journeys. It is the Ohishi Premium Sakura. All right, from Kuma, Kumamoto. There you go. Established 1872. Wow. Okay, they've been in business for a very long time, and it is very good. Despite the fact that I was very naughty, and I know you like it that way, and an hour late, they managed to seat me within maybe five or 10 minutes. So I sat at the bar for a couple of minutes and I got my Japanese whiskey, which you saw. So I am now in, in total crisis mode, looking at the menu. I am trying to say, no, we learned a lot. We learned, we've learned a lot lately. I am trying to stay whelmed. So I think we can do this. Like we will, okay, just calm down. It's not that, it's not that hard. It is. It's so hard. There's so many choices. Okay. Yes, it exists. And I am going to find it. I am going to find the MSC Ranch. It is somewhere. I don't care what continent it's on. You will be found. Oh, you will be found. Either way, here is the menu here at Sakura. And I actually think, I think I, I think I may have made my decision already. I, oh boy. Back to the menu, and yes, I'm good. I did it. I made my choices. So we are going to have the bluefin tuna tartare, a roasted pumpkin ginger soup, and the where is it? Oh yes, the, the roasted Korean akamiso quails, which I presume are the birds. If they're not, then oh boy, am I in for? Her. Oh, am I in for a surprise? And there is a dessert menu. All right, so oh, the 60% vice chocolate matcha. That looks very familiar. Oh, boy. I hope we don't have to choose which one we're going to do now. Um, Choco Addict. Okay, that probably is what we're going to get. Okay, you know what? We'll see how it goes. So here's the thing. I don't know if it's a tip or just a be ready. I don't always know if there is a actual sommelier in the venue or if it's just a wine store. It usually does not matter. The sommeliers, they, just, they wear the this thing. I don't know what it's called. I'm not gonna look it up because I don't do that. So if somebody wants to do that and let everybody know in the comments, just go ahead. But um, either way, it doesn't matter. So I did ask for a wine because I wanted the picture. Yes, that's, oh no, I'm gonna drink it, of course. But I asked because the picture. Here we have our pumpkin soup and bluefin tuna tartare. These are the appetizers I started with and of course, as usual, they'll bring you as many of these as you want. So I decided, well, I decided, I decided. That's my accomplishment for today. And going in the pool, that was a huge accomplishment for me. Is that gonna be a new thing? Maybe it will. I guess we'll start with the tuna tartare, but we'll check this out. This was on top, and I don't know, well, I don't know what it is. Parmesan cheese or something? Rice? Hmm. Or a noodle? Doesn't matter. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Okay, this is more complicated than I anticipated this. All right, here we go. The um, tuna tartare. Oh. That was the tuna. <laughs> Just to remind, I'm wearing glasses, which means, again, 
I can pick off a flying fish from probably 500 meters, but what's right in front of me? No clue. So this is the tuna tartar. I hope. The main course is here. This is the wine recommended by the wine store. It is a Chardonnay. I, well, if I know how to do what I'm doing, this is the bottle. So, cheers. It is five o'clock in, I don't really know where. Um, does it matter? No, because I'm here. This is the roasted Korean Akamiso quails. Yes, they are quails. I made sure before I ordered it. I have, oh boy, memories of uh, hunting and grilling these on my own. Wow. This is the uh, a side dish, the aubergine. It is called the um, flashbed aubergine hot and sour sauce. And here is the sauteed broccolini in, oh, sauteed broccolini in teriyaki sauce. Remember, I can't see what you're seeing, so I don't know what I'm doing. And yes, I mean hunting quail with air rifles and then grilling them. Hey, my peeps, right? Our dessert here at Sakura is the lemongrass poached pear with white chocolate something or other. It is beautiful and I will make the show. Oh boy, Explorer One is slamming through the waves like a seasoned top. What a wonderful dinner at Sakura. The crew there, or the hosts, they call them. Very attentive. I felt bad because I was late and I wanted to make the show and they made everything happen. So I'm on my way now to, it is Nick, not Lydia. Lydia was last night. You saw that and that is, oh, Nick is tonight. Then later on, I don't know what's going on, but tomorrow is a sea day. Not that it matters because I never get off the ship. I don't know why I even bothered to tell you these things. So, uh, yes, no, there is definitely, there is something else after this. Anyway, I gotta get to the show. That's, that's the point.